Hello, art people. Welcome to day three of stained glass. I'm enhancing my faint, my faux stained glass by tracing mark marker lines from day one with puppy paints. That's what we're going to be doing today. Why are we doing this, you might ask? So that you can experiment with different approaches to applying the puffy paint to the plastic surface. So when you're working, you can push down, you can squeeze hard, you can squeeze medium, you can squeeze gently, you can move fast, you can move slow, you can move medium, you can experiment. And when you find a way that you like to do it, you'll continue the whole project that way. And that is how you'll know you've got it. I'll know I've got it when I've tested two or more different techniques for applying the puffy paint on the transparent plastic surface and then selected one or more of those techniques to practice with in order to develop skills with those techniques. This is day three, so we're reviewing our vocabulary from day one and day two. Our vocabulary for day one was stained glass. Well, who can tell me about stained glass? Good. Yes. This is stained glass. The colored glass used making for de making decorative windows and other objects through which light passes. All right, and our vocabulary for day two was Gothic art slash Gothic architecture. Who can tell me about that? Very good. Gothic architecture, an architectural style in Europe that lasted from the mid 12th century to the 16th century, particularly a style of masonry building by characterized cavernous spaces with the expansive walls broken up by overlaid tracery. But why would I choose architecture to go along with this lesson? Well, who can tell me why? Yes, Gothic architecture featured a lot of stained glass. There you go, right back there. Very good. Now we can get our supplies out. I've got my messy tray and I've got my art. If you're a bear, you can get the art for your table. Now that we all have our art, we need our puffy paint. Some of my puffy paint is a different brand. So don't worry if it doesn't match mine exactly. If you are the kitty cat, you can get out the puffy paint. All right, you guys, now you can go ahead and get started.
All right, you guys, that is it for this project. I'm going to put my cap. It snapped a little bit when I put it on. Let's listen to that again. Okay, yours should snap too when you put yours on. I put my cap on my puppy paint. We can put that away. This is going on the drying rack. And we have one more day with this project. We're not actually, we're done with the art part. But in our next video, we're going to do a little bit of math with our art project. And then this lesson will be over. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.